Hey guys, so uh, I just purchased this new car and this new bench in here for my wife. How y'all like that? Just purchased this thing like uh, last week. We can't wait to move into this house. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class is a four-wheel drive luxury SUV, sometimes called a G-Wagon, which also refers to a cross-country vehicle. It is manufactured in Austria and sold by Mercedes-Benz. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the 2016 G550, dressed beautifully in black with black interior. The G-Wagon is characterized by its boxy styling and body-on-frame construction. It uses three fully locking differential one of the few vehicles to have such a feature. Despite the introduction of an intended replacement, the unibody SUV GL class in 2006, the G class is still in production and is one of the longest produced Mercedes Benz in Daimler history with a span of 35 years. The G Wagon was suggested by the Shah of Iran. At the time, a significant Mercedes shareholder was originally developed to excel in military, municipal, as well as civilian duty. The unmistakably ageless design of the G-Class is a pure reflection of the character within. Its flat glass windows were designed to make emergency replacement easier in the most remote areas of the world. Even with its modern details, it remains uncomplicated, uncompromised, and functional with a shape and size that maximize interior space while minimizing overhangs for better maneuverability. The G-Class also comes equipped with brilliant accents which showcase polished chrome and stainless steel which highlight the endearing quality of the G-Class. Okay, so here I have the sticker to the car. As you can see, all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. Base price for this vehicle is listed at $119,900. With all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $121,075. Now you can pause the video and take a closer look if you like. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is a chrome front grille guard that frames the chrome three ball grille and headlamps, bi xenon headlamps, LED daytime running lamps, as well as high intensity retractable headlamp washer are also a standard on the G550. Bi xenon headlamps also help deliver greater visibility than halogen headlamps because they're brighter, whiter light is much closer to natural daylight. At the bottom, you can see the air intakes that feed vital air into the engine compartment. Park assist are also integrated into the front bumper. And here is a closer look at the chrome grille with the huge Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle. Turn signal light are also integrated into the hood. And there you can see air vents are also located on the hood. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. I really love this boxy design of the G550. Now moving to the side, the first thing you'll notice is the standard 19 inch 5 spoke AMG wheels featuring distinctive spokes with 275-55 Pirelli tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs and 4 piston brake caliber painted in silver. There you have V8 badge on Defender and the rugged stainless steel running boards to issue entry and exit. Body color side view mirror with LED turn signal indicator. On top you have the sunroof that can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 19 inches 
and comes with 275 55 Pirelli tire as well. Behind the wheel is also the set of internally ventilated brake discs as well as the brake caliber painted in silver. It also comes with adaptive braking technology which integrated two useful advances during uphill start. Hill start assist helps to prevent rollback and a brake hole feature that can make long red light, stop traffic, or even off-road maneuver a little easier. And located right under the uh, running board, there's two exhaust tips that is located on each side of the vehicle. To the back, you see the small and unique square tail light with integrated brake lamps as well as turn signal lamp. Very unique looking tail light. Park assist and reverse light are also built into the rear bumper as you can see. And here's the rear mounted full size spare tire that is protected by a cover trim in polished stainless steel. And there you have the towing hitch with a towing capacity of 7,000 pounds and the light plug. And there you have the uh, door handle release. Rear camera is located on top and it will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote I have the panic, lock and unlock button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So as you can see, side mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. And to unlock the vehicle, all you have to do is press the uh, unlock button located on the remote control and press that button right there to unlock. The exterior color is known as black featuring a full black leather interior with premium dark wood trims and silver aluminum trim throughout. Very classic looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start it up, all you have to do is insert the key into the key ignition located on the right hand side and turn it to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Mercedes-Benz G550 have to offer. Under the hood is a 4-liter V8 bi-turbo engine constructed with die-cast alloy block and alloy head, formatic permanent all-wheel drive system with two-speed transfer case. 7 speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. It is pushing out 416 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque. It can hit from 0 to 60 mph in just 5.8 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 mph in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 13 city, 14 highway, and 13 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black 
with premium wood trims and silver aluminum trim. All four windows are fully automatic and there you have the side view mirror control and it does feature folded option. Multi adjustable seat and three position memory seating, door lock and unlock. And there you have the Harman Kardon surround sound speaker, door storage compartment, and more storage compartment there. Mercedes Benz aluminum door seal. And there's the sport pedal. Here is a closer look at the seat. It is perforated and does offer heated and ventilated option and feature 10-way power adjustable front seat with 4-way power lumbar support, a memory system for driver seat recall 3-store position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirrors. And right under the seat you have a small storage compartment. There you also have your multi-contour seat with a massaging function. The four spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with silver aluminum trims in the middle. Looks and feels very nice. It also features multi function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you also have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. There you have the windshield wiper controlled as well as turn signal light controlled. There's your Distronic as well as cruise controlled. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and it also features a heated option. And here's a closer look at the uh, instrument cluster. It features a 4.5 inch color instrument cluster display that lets you control via the multi-function steering wheel. This sharp color display in the instrument cluster lets you uh, scroll through various screens including a trip computer, numerous programmable vehicle setting, as well as the audio system, status, and more. Over to the left hand side you have the driver side event rear fog light as well as front light uh, system and a closer look at the dash it is wrapped in a uh, soft touch material now the G550 also comes standard with the Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system that's specifically engineered for the G class the system pushes out 450 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers now located centrally on the dash you have the large multimedia screen mounted on the dash with beautiful uh, wood trims and silver aluminum trims and there you have your three different differential lock and the label right there shows you what that's for events located side by side you have radio navigation mute telephone system telephone disc and the eject button as well as the volume controlled and on and off button and the uh, telephone keypad controlled. Here you have your heated and ventilated seat option, traction on and off, emergency hazard light, auto start and stop, parking sensor on and off, and heated and ventilated seat for the passenger side. Here you have your full zone climate controlled. And located down here on the sensor console, you have beautiful wood trims and an ashtray. There's your hand parking brake. Just uh, pull it up to activate it and put it back down to deactivate. Here's the gear shift lever. Push it up for reverse. And once you're in reverse, the uh, rear view camera will appear on the multimeter screen. Down again for drive. And slightly up for neutral. And there you have the parking uh, button. There you have sport, eco, and manual mode. So you have your three different driving mode, and there you have your heated uh, windshield and the low range. Here's the controller to your infotainment system. You can scroll it around to move around screen. Yeah. 
very nice sound quality there you have the back button clear and you can also move it up down right or left to move around screen or press down to select and this is the navigation system right here it is very responsive there you have audio phone video system full screen destination position traffic and guide inside system here you have setting time display setting voice control rear view camera language bluetooth and all kind of different setting and you can move it up down right or left like that there's the 12 volt power plug and it's a smart storage compartment here you have your center storage compartment inside you have a USB plug here's a look at the dash glove box compartment and there you have two cup holder and a closer look at the uh, seat once again very nice upholstery material and a look to the rear seat all right on top here you have the light control there you have the one touch open close and tilt uh, sunroof very nice feature and there you have the SOS button to use in case of an uh, emergency and the three button universal garage door opener here's the sun visor mirror alright now let's uh, check out the rear seat rear seat offer setting for three and it does feature folded option it looks like a uh, rear space are uh, not that spacious but it does offer quite a bit of a uh, headroom there you have the uh, automatic window three stage heated seats and the ashtray the speaker Mercedes-Benz aluminum door seal alright now let's get into the rear seat and see how it is in the back but uh, this is the look to the front cabin and here's the look to the top two air vents down here and uh, two cup holders as well as a 12 volt power plug so I'm 5'8 and I have only about one or two inches left of leg room and there you have the rear seat pocket rear seats are very well padded it is very comfortable rear seat cause, uh, could be a problem for a taller individual but headroom will be okay on top you have the third person seat belt and here's the look to the back you do have plenty of cargo space for the rear on top you have the uh, hand bar and the hook alright now let's check out the cargo space so the G550 offer quite a bit of a uh, cargo space as you can see you can always fold down the rear seat and get a total of 75.1 cubic feet of cargo space and you can fold it down in 60 or 40 split for your convenience there you have your floor mat your net a 110 volt power plug and a panel to cover your personal item when the trunk is closed and there's a look at the uh, full size spare tires so gas cap is located on the passenger side it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 25.4 gallons of fuel overall the 2016 G550 is a luxury SUV with sitting for 5 passengers second row seat is not that uh, spacious but if you are 5'8 and below you could be uh, really comfortable in the back 
if you're taller than that you could be uh, running into a little problem with uh, your leg room but headroom is not a problem for me at all the front cabins however are more spacious than the back and could fit any uh, size at all comfortably even on a long road trip not to mention the great leather upholstery material that will add more comfort to your body it also features premium wood trims and aluminum trims throughout the cabin now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front So like I mentioned earlier, it is very comfortable. There you have your 12 volt power plug. And you also have your multi-control seat for the passenger side. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 G550 video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And as always, I'm going to take it out for a short drive, just so I can show you guys how it's like uh, sitting in the driver's seat, and how easy it is to operate the uh, G550. So this is a uh, quite heavy vehicle, but it does have four, over 400 horsepower for you, so it wouldn't be a problem moving around. But uh, what I love about this vehicle is that uh, its you know uniqueness looks and the boxy styling of the vehicle makes it very stand out and unique on the road. But this vehicle at the same time is very smooth as well. And the engine sound is just superb. You can hear the engine roar right inside the uh, cabin as you press the acceleration button overall I think this is a very nice family vehicle for family with like uh, three children or for a family of five so now I'm going to show you how it's like backing up in the uh, G550 so as you can see the rear view camera will appear on the multimeter screen and to kind of help you with our uh, backing up and it does make uh, backing up real easy with that uh, reverse camera. And it's kind of show you the tire back while backing up. 